Yeah, is it cold? Oh, it's running down your arm. Yeah, Wawa. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Welcome to St. Bridget. I know most of you have already been here a lot of times, but if you're here for the first time today, we'd like to welcome you. So, Ginny, please stand. No, <laughs> if you're here for the first time, please stand and let us know who you are so we can welcome you to our parish. If you're not too shy about it, no? I know the summer's over, fewer people are visiting. We had a lot last Sunday. So. All right, well, since you guys have all been here before, you know the routine. We're gonna turn off our cell phones and double check them. I've, gone, I've been known to go through the whole mass and forget to flip off my phone after telling everybody else to do it and get lucky. So let's not count on luck. So thank you for doing that. And we're very happy to have you with us to celebrate this 28th Sunday in ordinary time. We're getting down towards the end here. And in November, we'll be finishing ordinary time and moving on to Advent before you know it. And it might even get cold. It's even possible. So thank you all for being here this evening.
please turn to gather number 744 and join in singing our opening song, Gather Us In. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate God's presence, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, my words, in what, what I have done, done and, and what, what I have failed, failed to do. do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my, my grievous fall. fall. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, Mary ever virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord, the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. And on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your praise. Oh, God. 
let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her because all gold in view of her is a little sand. And before her, silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things came to me in her company and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You are lacking in one thing, go sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven then come follow me at that statement his face fell and he went away sad for he had many possessions jesus looked around and said to his disciples how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of god the disciples were amazed at his words. So again, Jesus, so Jesus again said to them in reply, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, we have given up everything and followed you. Jesus said, amen I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel 
who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. It is not what we have, and many times it is not what we are, what makes us truly happy. It seems that every one of us, every human being has an empty hole inside. And that hole has a purpose. The only one who can fill that empty hole inside of every human being is God. We try to fill it with things, with, even with good things, but at the end we find that we are not happy. Something is wrong in our lives. In today's gospel, this man approaches Jesus. And the, the two readings support the message of the gospel. This man approaches Jesus, telling him, I'm perfect. Because in fact, those, those commandments in the gospel are about human relationships, relationships with people, not with God. Don't kill, don't steal, honor your father and mother. Those are relationships with people, not with God. The relationship with God is another level. And the man came to Jesus, I'm perfect. I, I fulfill all those commandments. I don't kill, I don't steal, I honor mom and dad, and, 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 and I'm a perfect Pharisee. And Jesus doesn't say, you are wrong, no. Jesus wants to take this man to the second level. Jesus looked at this man with love. With love. In Jeremiah's words, Jesus was trying to seduce him. Remember what Jeremiah said, Lord, you seduced me, and I let you seduce me. And Jesus was trying to seduce this man in Jeremiah's words. But this man didn't want to go to the second level. He was seduced by many things. He was seduced by his own ideas. I'm a good person. I fulfill the commandments. I have no problems. Why do I have to give up all my possessions to enter into God's kingdom? Why? If I'm perfect. He was seduced by his own ideas, ideologies, accomplishments, and possessions. Mm -hmm. 
And we can be in that problem too. When Jesus approaches us, what, what is the solution? Pray. Pray. First reading. And wisdom and prudence will be given to you. You will find the, the real meaning of everything and everyone. Pray. And prudence and wisdom will be given to you. And you will find that the one who is calling you is the Son of God, is the Good Shepherd, is the one who can take it into that heaven you want to belong to. Second reading. He is, Jesus is the incarnated Word of God. He penetrates you like a sword. He penetrates even your soul and your spirit. The Word of God. He can find what is the best of you and what person you can become by the grace of God. Let yourself be seduced by him. Because that's the way and the only way we can follow him and we can live behind everything. When we find that his love is greater than anything else, then and only then we can follow him. I, I'm so glad seeing young people here, everybody here, yeah. But seeing young people here, because that reminds me that when we are young, we have great ideals. We want to do great things in this life. And I was thinking, when I look at them, I, I think, when I was 20, 22, 25, and I told you before I was the perfect boy in the neighborhood, again, fulfilling all the commandments, but empty of God. I used to love God in my own way, behaving. And I thought that's the perfect way to, to please God, to love God, behaving. But Jesus says, there is something else. He looks at you with love. He seduces you. And you go to another level. And when he looked at me, when I was young like you, I made the decision. I want to become a priest. Not before. When he looks at you with love, you make big decisions. And you find the grace and the strength to pursue the goal. So pray. I tell you, I told you many times and I tell you again, just two part, two sentences. Read two sentences of the gospel every night. Two sentences. It's not too much. It takes five minutes. But let the word of God penetrate into you. And let yourself be seduced by him. And he will take you to 
many wonderful places and things, and at the end, to heaven. I wish you that, yeah? Because all of us need God. And we, need, we cannot be truly happy without God. I like to tell young people, you don't need drugs. I don't know them. I don't know what is that. If you show me something like that, I, I don't know. You don't need money. You don't need power. You don't need sex, which is a big issue for many people today. You don't need even that to be happy. Let Jesus seduce you, everyone, and leave behind your possessions, and you can say, I don't have it. I'm poor. Your mentality, your pride, your ideologies, those are possessions too. Leave them, leave them behind and follow Christ. And you will never repent. And you will have huge problems, huge ones. But you will, not, you will always recognize his love is greater than that trash in this world. Follow Christ. And everyone, because everyone is young here, okay? Please stand. Let us proclaim our creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. The rich suffer. Let me see this. This is not right. Okay. Okay, the rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessings. That the church pray constantly for the wisdom to guide the living of God's word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That nations forego materialism and greed, and instead focus on providing shelter for the homeless, food for the hungry, clothing for the naked, 
and sufficient jobs for the unemployed and underemployed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who proclaim the word in liturgical assemblies of God's people communicate clearly and meaningfully its penetrating message. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our community may grow in our commitment to supporting the missions through prayer, sacrifice, and action. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have been in the path of recent natural disasters find comfort and refuge in prayer, and that Christ bring them peace in their time of suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who have died, having left all possessions behind, enter the kingdom of God through the grace of all that is possible in God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we bow our heads, remember in silence the prayers that we hold within our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we know we must work hard to earn your divine blessing. Instruct and guide us so that we might be able to let go of everything that keeps, keeps us from your holy presence. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Please be seated. Our song during the preparation and presentation of the gifts is found in Gather at number 700. Number 700, the summons. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings 
that through these acts of faithfulness, we may pass over to the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. We Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo Garcia, Sier, our Bishop, Michael and Gary, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. 
Father, remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends. And Eduardo Alonso, Lupe Garcia, Pam Bradley, Anna Pham T. Ann, Edwin Ray. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Father, we also pray for Darcy Richardson and family, and for Pat and Lou Garza, for a special intention. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray the Our Father at our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with peace you. Peace be with you. Peace, peace you all. of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm rewarded that you should enter in my room. Baron is Christ. 
Amen. Blood of Christ. Amen. The song for Holy Communion is the song of the body of Christ found in Gather at number 847, number 847.
we have a second collection for hope for the future. It's for the Catholic schools. Hello, my name is Abby Oliva, and I'm here today to share my testimony. Thank you for having me. It is great to see all the faces of change against abortion. My daughter, Andy, is a result of your continued bravery and involvement for the protection of the unborn. In my early 20s, I was deep in drug addictions. Sometimes sleeping in my car, I would go days without eating or sleeping. I knew I was breaking my family's heart, but I did not care. I was far from God, and I was just mad at everything. It was like I didn't even recognize myself anymore. I've always believed in Jesus, but didn't believe that he could pull me out of something so deep. There were times when I would pray to God for him to help me, but it felt like it wouldn't come. When in July of 2020, I found out I was pregnant, I didn't want to believe it. An addict, I had nothing. I wasn't in the position to be a mother, I thought. Scared, I visited the Planned Parenthood office on the south side, selfish. Even when I saw a positive pregnancy test, I wasn't going to have the baby. My mind was set and done. Abortion money in my pocket, they scheduled me for an abortion at the Planned Parenthood facility on Babcock. Looking around the waiting room the ba on, at the Babcock facility, no one was crying. No one looked upset or even guilty for being there for the unborn. Oh, sorry, for an abortion, sorry. Deep down inside, I hurt. As I went outside to get a breath of air, I saw a woman, I call her my angel, one of the sidewalk advocates. She had dirty blonde hair, light skin, wore a white dress, and was very thin, but beautiful. She told me about a woman's haven, the pregnancy care clinic next door, that would have given me options. A friend of mine called her a prayer warrior. When I went to a woman's haven, I told them I had the abortion money in my pocket and that they had one hour to talk me out of it. So they began telling me their testimonies and gave me the information about Sanctuary of Hope and Guadalupe, Guadalupe Women's Home. Still, I was not convinced until my, I received my sonogram. My baby had a shape and a heartbeat. She gave us a little wave, my heart became brittle. By September of 2020, I became a resident of Sanctuary of Hope for a short time. There they brought me closer to God and taught me to trust him, put my world, give my world to him. I've continued my relationship with Jesus Christ ever since. On March 9, 2021, my daughter Andy was born. The first thing I thought, the first thing I did was count her toes and fingers. And yes, she does have them all, I promise. <laughs> she was born healthy. 
At the age of three, she is very smart and can count all the way to 100. Our life is blessed in every way. I'm not going to stand here today and say it's not hard being her mom and her dad at the same time, but if I had to go back in time and choose between an abortion or her life, I'd still choose her life. She's the light of my life, my future. These past three years have taught me patience and self-worth. I know my value now. In November of 2023, I walked the stage as a combination welder, graduating with a 3.88 GPA, and now I'm on a jury to become an inspector. My brother sees my daughter and I doing homework and asks me if I'm glad if I kept her. I am glad every day that the beautiful woman in a white dress stopped and called me from that sidewalk at Planned Parenthood. That woman was part of the 40 Days for Life sidewalk com campaign organized by San Antonio Coalition for Life who invited me here today. I want everyone to know that's ever actively participated against abortions that you are a huge part of why I have my little girl. Y'all saved her life. Today, the same Babcock Abortion Clinic sends women out of the state for abortion across US, the US. If you haven't ever participated as a sidewalk advocate or donated to the San, San Antonio Coalition for Life, I hope and pray my story will give y'all the, the courage to give it a try. If it wasn't for that prayer warrior's actions on the sidewalk, I wouldn't, know, wouldn't have known my options. Genesis chapter 50, verse 20 says, but as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to, pr to, bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. Thank you so much. San Antonio Coalition for Life is the only organization in South Texas that trains and organizes sidewalk counselors. Right now, Planned Parenthood sidewalks go on guard at 50% of the time that the Babcock Abortion Mega Clinic is open. 50%. Okay? The other four locations in town, like the one that Abby visited for the first time on the south side, have never been covered. How many women like Abby don't get to know their options? How much is every Andy worth? San Antonio Coalition for Life also donates money to pro-life pregnancy clinics, to food pantries, to diaper pantries, and even to the church. We even built the main and maintain a website called the Care Referral Info. I'm gonna put it up here because I don't know how to spell. This is one of the most comprehensive pregnancy aid and resources network in the state. Once again, it's carereferral.info. Now I'm gonna to speak to God's warriors. Please volunteer your time on the sidewalk. Your talent organizing people, outreach and education programs, or your treasure so that we can pay people to do both. When, as you leave here today, you will find baby bottles out in the front. You've seen them before. They look like this. If you'll be so kind, please take them home, fill them, bring them back within a couple of weeks. There'll be tubs at every exit, same places where you'll find them. Yeah? And bring them back to me. There's also, there are also going to be larger bottles if you just want to do a one time um, donation. Please, if you don't plan to fill the bottles, don't take them. To moms who have participated in an abortion, those who are uh, post-abortive, we love you. And we wish to be a part of your healing and to bring your testimony forth as well. Please come and see us. To anybody in need, sitting here today, if you're sitting in the pews today, or you know anybody who is faced by an unexpected pregnancy, 
and is scared or pressured to end a baby's life, we are here to help. Please visit sanantoniocoalition.org, that is S-A-C-F-L dot O-R-G, or again, carereferral.info. We will take care of you, I promise. That you know that 50% of Catholic women who face an unwanted pregnancy have an abortion, usually have an abortion during the week, and then come back to church the next Sunday. So let me ask you some questions. Um, for example, Planned Parenthood calls these clinics of, uh, to provide health. So let me ask you, when did motherhood become a disease? If a heartbeat is the universal sign of somebody who is alive, how is it that that does not apply to a baby? Babies have a heartbeat within 18 months of just 18 weeks, 18 days of gestation, right? So why should we care? The state of Texas has an abortion ban. Well, the state of Texas organizations like Planned Parenthood referred 35,000 women out of state for abortions last year. Actually more than any state in the United States, 35,000 people. Yep. So please, come along, let us help you. Thank you. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his gotcha. divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. We, we have a few announcements if we'll, we'll skip them this week. <laughs> there was only two. Our closing song is in spirit song, number 214, I Send You Out. <laughs> 